Monty, the writer of Wuthering Heights. Two hours, ten minutes, M-rated, and it, it's tense throughout. It, it's a fictitious account, we should say, of the lauded 19th century writer and poet. A role filled... Do you pronounce her name Mackie? M-A-C-K-E-Y? Emma Mackie? Yes, that's what Rob said, yeah. Yeah, OK. Well, sorry, who's Rob? Rob Connolly, the uh, producer of the oh, film. OK, thank you. Um, as a youngster... Emily Bronte enjoyed making up stories, according to what we see in this movie. She was considered odd, deviating from the norm, and her mind worked differently to others. She was comfortable in the company of family, but she really did struggle in outside settings. Her father was the local priest, her father's name Patrick, played by Adrian Dunbar. He was a disciplinarian who expected a great deal of his offspring, which wasn't always delivered. And a young vicar arrives in the parish called William Waitman, played by Oliver Jackson Cohen. And, and that saw tensions rise. With Emily drawn to him, he gave her French lessons and, and he was drawn to her. She was also being led astray by her layabout brother, Branwell. Theon Whitehead plays that role. All the while, the one constant was Emily's fertile imagination and poetic bent, which was recognised by all who chanced upon her prose. So it is that Emily the movie is the story of a loner with smarts and a great turn of phrase who was misunderstood. And the Australian actress turned writer and director Frances O'Connor is the one who's woven quite a compelling tale. I've got to say, I was drawn in and held tight throughout the two hours and ten minutes. I, I, I was really impressed by Emma Mackey. I thought she was really strong in the lead. There's an intensity about her performance and she sort of plays Emily as reflective, as passionate, not afraid to speak her mind. What did you think of the film, Greg? I haven't seen it yet. Okay, so there we go. What about you, Peter? Uh, look, because it's based on uh, very little material that is available about Emily Bronte, this is a, a good, fanciful adaptation of uh, Emily Bronte's writing, Wuthering Heights. And I think it is very well filmed, very well written and directed. And uh, I spoke to Robert Connolly this morning because, of course, apart from Blueback, he also produced um, Emily. And he told me about how the material was put together, uh, the screenplay, uh, based on very little known information about Emily Bronte. So, look, it's very well filmed. A lot so of handheld camera. So how was it put together? Because did, did, they make it, did they make it all up or what, what, what went on? It was. It was. It was a completely concocted story um, going backwards from the Wuthering Heights tale, which is a very strong romantic drama, uh, romantic story, uh, and then putting together a story that would possibly explain Explain how Emily Bronte could become so passionate to eventually write the story. Mm. Uh, what did you think of uh, Oliver Jackson Cohen's performance as William Waitman, Dave? Oh, I thought it was really good. I have to admit, I completely loved this film. Um, the Bronte's family were one of the most fascinating families I got to learn about when I was at uni, and I loved reading anything I could that were written by any of them. And I just fell in love with this film straight away. Um, Frances O'Connor, I think, has to be one of the most exciting directors out there. This is her debut feature. And to me, this mm. film this film is almost a masterpiece to me. I absolutely adored the film. And um, to think that Frances O'Connor is probably going to get better and better as a director as the years go by, it's kind of a, a scary thing for me because I, I found this film just absolutely brilliant. It's wonderful that you've got... And this is not unusual, an actress that sort of turned turned into writer and director and, and so on. And, yeah, you, you she really announces herself, no question about that, with this film. I, I thought that uh, Oliver Jackson Cohen was, was sort of really strong, you know, God-fearing, lustful as, as William Waitman. Fionn Whitehead, uh, really, <laughs> I mean, what, what a role to play, a, a, a real layabout, readily slipped into the persona of, of this sort of wayward brother. And... He's certainly a character that's prone to weakness and excess. And then you've got the, the sisters, uh, Alexandra Dowling, channel, channels sort of goody two-shoes, really, is the, the sister Charlotte, and um, she's quite prominent as well. And uh, Adrian Dunbar, this sort of stiff upper lip preacher father, Patrick, I, I thought there was a lot of period detail there. The wild outdoor settings were really well captured by the cinematographer, Nanu Siegel, and the composer... Now, I'll try and pronounce his name. Abel is his first name, A-B-E-L. Korzanowski, 
uh, the, the school really serves to heighten the moments of tension and desire. It, it's fascinating when sometimes, often we don't comment upon the score, but how how influential it can be in determining the direction of a movie and almost signalling the path that it's going to take. Hardly an easy life, uh, as presented here for Emily Bronte, a woman who didn't conveniently fit into society's norms. So I reckon it's well worth seeing. Uh, Peter, are they coming to take you away? Absolutely. I'll be gone in a minute. <laughs> uh, this is, this is, you, your paper-thin walls, extraordinary. Uh, I, I, definitely a movie well worth seeing, wouldn't you say, Peter? Uh, definitely, yes. Score out of 10. Emily, M rated, runs for two hours 10. What, what are you going to give it, Peter? It, it's a good fanciful concoction of uh, the Emily Bronte story of Wuthering Heights, so I give it 8 out of 10. Likewise, I'm giving it an 8, and Dave, I suspect you're... You're going to go even higher, are you not? I am. It took me seven months last year to give my first 10, but it's only taken in oh, two weeks. No. I'm giving it 10. I thought this was an absolute masterpiece. I've already seen it twice, and I want to go back and see it again. Oh, my golly. Gee whiz. I, I think that's really... That's gilding the lily as far as I'm concerned, but it's a good film. But you're saying it's a great film. Oh, um, I think it is. Okay. I think, it, I think how it's... Many did you, how many did you say you gave 10 to last year? I only gave 10 last year to three films, so, yeah. Which were gone, if you remember them? I what were the three? I can't actually remember, to be honest. I, I'm going through my, doing my best and worst list at the moment, so, yeah, I can't actually remember which three no, it was. All right, let's go on to a movie called Opera.